excess and shortage. All right. This will definitely come out in the exams. Okay. So let's take a look. You have two scenarios. Scenario number one and scenario number two. Okay. Now I want you to imagine that every single unit represents the number of students in the class. So there's one unit of students in the class. Now if I give each person two suites, if I give each person two suites, how many suites do I need? Two times the number of students. I need two units of suites. If I give each person five suites, that means I'll give a total of five units of suites. Okay, so just take note that one unit represents how many students there are. These are the number of students in the class. Okay? So, in scenario number one, they say that each student receives eight suites. I'll need eight units of suites right then in scenario number two they say each student receives ten suites that means I need five six seven eight nine ten units of suites so if you are left with eight suites you have extra suites so I'm gonna say that this is an excess right where is the excess? Now let's look at scenario number one. If I have if I give eight suites to each student, okay, I'm giving away eight units of suites. And this line represents this red line represents the actual number of suites I have. So I will have eight suites left. This is the excess. Now let's look at scenario number two. If I would like to give 10 suites to each child. Well, unfortunately, I don't have that many suites. Again, the red line represents how many suites I have. I want to give 10 suites to each child. I will need 10 units of suites. But I don't have enough. You see, this is what I need. I need 10 units of suites. This is what I need. But I only have the red line. The red line represents the number of suites I have left, that I actually have. So I'm short of 4. I need 4 more in order to achieve my goal of giving 10 suites to each student. Right? So immediately from the model, we know that 2 units represents 12. 2 units equals to 12. 1 unit equals to 6. And you can find, well, how many students are there? There's six students. How many suites does she have? So you know that there's six students, right? There are six students. If each of them gets eight suites, I'll have eight suites left. Or there are six students. Each of them get ten suites. Sorry, I don't have that many. I'm short of four. No matter what I do, uh, six times eight, 48 plus eight, 56. Six times ten. 60 minus 4 no matter which scenario you use you will always end up with 56 suites and 6 students now remember the answer 56 suites and 6 students right what if I would like to use a shortcut in excess and shortage we have these formulae here, excess plus shortage divided by the difference. Or you can say excess minus excess divided by the difference, shortage minus shortage divided by the difference. Uh, whenever you have the same thing, you have to deduct, you have to subtract. But whenever you have different things, you add. So you just need to ask yourself, what is the excess? The excess is 8, because I have 8 extra suites. What is the shortage? 4. Because I'm short of 4 suites. What is the difference between the number of suites that I'm giving to them? The difference is 2. Because in scenario 1, I gave 8. Scenario 2, I gave 10. The difference is 2. So therefore, if I want to find 
the number of students I just take the excess plus the shortage divided by the difference and that will give me six students if I want to find how many suites there are I've already done the workings just now same workings this is scenario number one you have eight extra scenario number two you have shortage of four you will still get the same answer and there we go